Um. Oh, shit! Um. Whoops. Hmm. Oh. Hate when that happens. Alpha needs medicine. He's sick. Into the abyss. Take it to Alpha in the abyss. The fuck is Alpha? Oh, the power went out. When did that happen? I guess I unlocked everything. Well, this is, uh... This is new. Isn't it? Is that there? Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I guess it was. Usual sedated orange ruffy found hovering outside Omnicron substation. It had a remarkable bone growth that seemed to interfere with its perception. Brought in, brought it inside to study it, but it stir stiffened and died in the process. During postmortem study, the thing kicked back to life while being out of the water. It kept swimming for a few minutes, so I returned it to the aquarium. It instantly started banging into the glass and bludgeoning itself to death before I could relocate it. Darby and Waldeck identified it as what was sabotaging the Lumar probe at about 900 meters depth at 150 centimeters long rooter fish that looked like it emerged with some other kind of fish or shark. It's the freakiest form of mutation I've, we've seen so far. It's clear that it's getting worse. Something is causing this and I'm not buying the radioactive fallout nonsense that Arvari can't shut up about. The dead man found in the climber this morning has been identified as Joan Ross, the AI psychologist working at Tau can't begin to imagine what has happened down in the abyss, and frankly, I won't risk losing my staff by going down there to look. If the art team is alive, which I highly doubt, they will have to find a way to give us a sign. We're not going down there without a good reason. Okay, let's go back downstairs. The quarantine's obviously not lifted here. Not quarantine, security, whatever. Where do you want to call it? Take the gel. Is the gel down here? I notice these cameras are everywhere, so it's like we're being watched always. I don't think the gel's down here. Probably what the gel is right there. Yeah, it's supposed to bring the cortex back. I 
I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Maybe she can unlock the other sections. Yeah, it looks like this is only to unlock the lower. So let's go back up. We'll take her, the, the cortex that we've gotten. Oh wait, here we go. Get the virus? Is that what it said? Scan me. We're in a clean room. Everything's fine. Huh. Can't open that in any way, shape, or form. Never seen something at that speed. Okay. I thought that was a little too easy. It's a sound. Structure gel has been charged and actually keeps going for a while, even when removed from a power source. If applied to circuit, it seems to help out with connectivity. It seems it's not only connectivity, but even functionality. God, I kind of couldn't read that. I didn't read fast enough. The gel makes simple machinery work and act more efficiently. The modifications that the WoW has made to the gel are full of extra information that doesn't necessarily make sense. When applied to something more complicated, it causes the gel to act as a cancer upon the host, eventually ruining it. We could use the gel to our advantage, but it needs to be uncalibrated to get rid of all the bad code. Apply gel to dead mouse. The gel calls the mouse to appear alive. It was put into the same we suffer, the same habitat as a living mouse. The reanimated mouse was ap was apathetic, while the living one seemed stressed. After 15 minutes, the reanimated mouse attacked and killed the living mouse. Half an hour later, the random mouse stopped moving. The corpse was solid as the gel had hardened within it. We made another mouse structure gel. This time, it was done with uncalibrated gel as produced by urns. Ems. Urm? Um, um, whoever. Listen to me, okay? The results were impressive. The thing appeared catatonic, but it's more of a sleepwalker. To avoid the thing hardening as before, electromagnetics were used to cause a low electrical current within the animal. It's also provided us the ability to somewhat control it. Hmm. The structure gel remains unchanged on a fundamental level. It's still the same cross-linked gel with the line graphene in the polyunsaturated matrix that was installed throughout Pathos 2 a few years ago. The problem is not the gel. You get the virus. I get the virus. But it's controller, the WoW. The gel has not taken on any new properties. The WoW simply uses it in ways that we would never even have dreamed of. Real evidence concludes that all deformed creatures, the fish, the sharks, and even the helpers, were manipulated by the WoW via structure gel. They have in some manner been exposed to charged gel and in turn stricken by cancerous growth that affected the whole being. It's difficult to ask why when talking about the AI, but it, some kind of nightmare. I couldn't quite read it. But it's all started shortly after the comet killed the surface. I can't for sure say it is bad code or a carefully programmed mercy killing, but it looks like it's not going to make things easier for us to survive. That looks fucking creepy, dude. Fucking hell. Alright.
came back to life. Or something like it. Wow. Okay. Huh. I have to put gel on this before I can, uh, maybe say. Take it. Why not? Oh, I see. Wonder why that one was empty. in the well. Some fucked up fish from the jail. We need to find the virus. I'm not sure if I trust um, Catherine anymore. The more I've thought about it, the less I trust her. And so... I almost don't, I almost feel like I have to find this virus without her assistance and have it ready. There's no point to this room other than that. One book, or not book, uh, thing. What was the last area that was locked down? Is it here? No. Oh, 
Uh, where was that at? Had the dude in the hallway. Looking all fucked up like. It's in the closet. Fucking with my head, dude. Oh, it's right out here. Alright, okay, yeah, already, already, I see. Uh, let's start here. This room looks smaller. God, looks like someone had a fucking bachelor party and fighted a bunch of people and they got really drunk. <laughs> You've been listening to Cameron, that's for sure. What do you want, Raleigh? <laughs> Can you blame me for trying to figure this out? I've been having the dreams too, you know. I don't know what to believe. Oh, I know. Everything from the sudden signal amplification at black boxes to having a comatose Dr. Ross locked up in the glass jar. We've all been going a bit nuts. Tell me about it. Feels like my head's about to explode. Hypothetically speaking, could we stop the WoW from mutating? It doesn't work like that. Even if there was a site alpha? Hypothetically speaking, I guess we could try it. Rally, are you recording this? Sorry. I just... So... Hmm. Why would it matter if she was? Yeah, I'm sure she was, because I just listened to it, but why would it matter? Fuck. So I'm going to have to deal with any more fucking assholes, but it looks like I'm going to have to deal with at least one more. Someone's head been removed. It's a bit weird, right? Their black boxes must have been in their head. Maybe that's why their heads were removed. Johan Ross was found dead on the climber this morning. The ARC team went down a couple of days ago, but I see no reason to suspect them playing a part in his death. The climber can't be operated from the abyss, so there was a scheduled retrieval. The climber returned with only the lifeless body of Alpha member Johan Ross. No traces of the ARC team. Cameron Eames, Lansky. All studying the body inside containment. I'll follow up with whatever they find. Delenda Est. The WoW has been getting more aggressive, pushing all systems to their limits. Ironically, the dead Dr. Johan Ross would be the perfect person to ask why the WoW is making such a big buzz about his passing. After all, the WoW isn't supposed to want anything. And definitely not to mourn people. The system overload affects the staff considerably. Headaches, loss of sleep, unwarranted stress. And it seems to be getting worse. Did their fucking heads explode? I could use some advice if you can get through. Delenda Est. Things are out of hand. The staff looks like they're about to explode. They did. Every other person walks around with nosebleeds. Yeah. And the rest keep wiping stains of blood from the their fucking eyes. Fucking heads keep exploded. That's to do with the WoW trying to free Ross somehow, for sure. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the body just got up and left. Rally Herber, our dispatcher, has been snooping around asking questions she shouldn't. She says she's going down into the abyss to find Alpha. I can't bring myself to stop her. Yep, that's when their head has exploded. Their fucking heads exploded. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 